Hello guys, welcome to another video from me. So after one week of Power Excel, I'm still playing Power of Excel. That's quite surprising because most other leagues, Synthesis, Legion, I quit after one week. Nearly one week plus of grind, I quit. Nothing interesting, doesn't like the grind, it feels, it feels throughout the same, right? Except for Betrayal, because Betrayal and this has a similar thing, then I'll talk about it later on, right? So the huge change to the system of Path of Exile is the master change. They change how the master quest works, master missions. It used to be every day, you get like a random master at a different map, you go there, it's a guaranteed master mission, you get to meet the master, guarantee, you do it once per day, sometimes you can do it twice, and people, they do prophecies, they do um, scarab to guarantee, right? But now they change it. So you have this sidebar that shows you the quest available that you can do, right? So I'll explain how it works later, but... So how is this change good? This allows us to focus on what we want to grind, the rewards that we want. Not everyone like this like specific type of grind right so for example if i like to deal i want more sulfide i don't have to like wait every day go sulfide get scared you know all this kind of shit right here you got this quest you can see i have 11 quests so that's a lot of sulfide it means a lot of sulfide and it basically means that i can get to play the content i want to play for a longer period because it used to be I get this amount of sulfide. I play for a few delve. It stops because I no longer have sulfide. But now we get a little bit more, and it's easier to grind out the things that we want and we stack. And it changed the strategy how we can farm mid game maps, right? How you want to get the gear you want. It really changes the farming. And in a way, I feel like it's easier to get currency now because it's so easy to stack master. There's a lot more reward easier to get the gear you want and a late game item you want so in a good way it's kind of good and this also helps to improve um some other like solo self found right you get more sulfide and all this kind of stuff right more loot basically so how is this similar to betrayal betrayal you manipulate the syndicate Manipulate the syndicate, you know what they give. It shows you the reward that the syndicate gives. So you manipulate them, get them to high rank, you get the guaranteed reward. Sort of the similar way. You are grinding to get what you want in the end. You want more temple, you want corruption of double corruption. You go for more Elva maps. You try and get double corruption and then you go to the temple. You want more betrayal, you want more different things you can do, right? Very similar to betrayal, that's why I like betrayal a lot. You're able to get, you're able to narrow down and grind the things that you want, that you really want. It's not just blindly grinding. You're able to really do what you want in a way. Betrayal allows that. And that's very fun, keeps the game fresh. Because I'm doing the things that I like, basically, right? So, if, um, so how this new change works? It used to be there's an icon, like for example, Elva. You will see like a green Elva icon. You will go to this map, guarantee Elva. Now it changed. So you see here, there's three different colors. Let's let's focus on one uh, master. All right, it's all the same. So for example, this one is Elva. All right. So you see there's a white, yellow and red, okay? So white means that there's 8 white maps you can do. White maps are basically these kind of maps. At last, we have white maps are basically low tier maps, 1 to 5 there are white maps. You have yellow and you have red, right? So here it says I have 0 yellow maps. So I cannot do yellow maps for Elva, to guarantee Elva, zero cannot do. There's only eight for low tier maps. 
and there's also zero red here so the only thing i can do is red uh white maps right so if you move on to betrayal june one white map and one yellow map meaning i could do either yellow or white two missions so yellow you can do up to tier um 10 right tier is this tier 10 i don't know how to count but basically tier x okay or oh, and you also can do the white one after you do finish it you'll consume the charge so from one it becomes zero and so on right sometimes you get more quests by completing other masters just very good stuff right i haven't gotten any red ones okay so how do you use the map the charges right so for example you want zana white map okay you go to get your map you grab a white map right you go to zana zana is here there's an atlas mission here you click atlas mission you put your map inside the map device from zana and after you activate it the portal will come out from here basically at the map portal the map device the portal will appear so let me show you right I gotta put arcade map, activate it. And the map just appeared. And it's a guarantee Zana. So if I go in I go in, you can see the charge become from eight to seven. And it says find Zana and complete her mission. It's a guarantee Zana kind of things, right? But I don't care about white maps, so I'm not gonna do it yet. But that being said, this is very good. Because if you wanna complete your Atlas, you can keep doing Zana, stack Zana, keep doing Zana to complete the Atlas so that you can increase the drop rate of maps. If you want more Alva, you just do what you want. So it's a very good change, I think. And I really like this date. Not because of blind, but because of the master changes, alright?